wouldn't be surprised if Mueller wants to talk with Kelly about additional matters. It seems unlikely that this is the singular time that Kelly's information could be of interest. And that would be two chiefs of staff that we know have sat before Robert Mueller, John Heilman. We also know, and let's just put this as delicately as we can, Donald Trump treats people like bleephole countries. I mean, you know, he doesn't treat people like well. Like crap, I believe. Yeah. It would be, it would be yeah, one way. Yeah, the other one. We can, we can but, certainly but, say crap. But, but I mean, he treats people so badly. Right. They're, they're public public reports about Jeff Sessions crying or being near yeah. tears, Rod Rosenstein being near tears, um, John Kelly is reportedly, I think, over uh, the Labor Day holiday, screamed at in a way he's never been screamed at. I mean, these are, in mean, whatever your politics, these are um, grown men being treated um, abusively by the president they serve. Right. I'll tell you a couple things that I, 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 I'm listening to, uh, to Joyce and Chuck talk about this. I'm thinking about my career as a reporter. You know, I've done some books. You're familiar with, yeah. with that with that work. And, and when you're trying to do reconstructed history, if you're writing narrative nonfiction about things that happened in a presidential campaign, say, um, you, you want to try to talk to on any given thing, that, any event, any scene you're trying to write. You want to talk to everybody in the room. You want to get contemporaneous notes. Mm -hmm. You want to get emails that were sent before the, the meeting, after the meeting, anything on audio that anybody has. And you want to try to talk to everyone because the reality is that people's memories are terrible. Sure. There's also the Rashomon thing. People, even who are being honest with you, remember things differently. Right. And on top of that, then there are people who lie. And in this White House, there are people who lie a lot. Yeah. Right. So if you're trying to get to the truth, which is what a reporter tries to do in this situation, and what someone obviously like Bob Mueller and his team are trying to do, of of course you're going to talk to everybody and you're going to scoop up as much of that available evidence when when i've worked on these books i haven't had subpoena power or the threat of a subpoena what you have is people's desire to tell the truth to reconstruct history accurately but you also have the thing that you're talking about mm -hmm. which in a lot of cases you got people who want to settle scores you got people who have who are angry at the boss or angry at a coworker, mm -hmm. and all of those things just letting out a little reportorial tradecraft here's all the stuff that you use to try to get not their version of events but the truth of what happens you use every possible piece of leverage, and Donald Trump is the most idiotic, moronic, 